Hi guys, welcome to the Under the Covers channel. This is Suzanne. As you can see today, I have taken over Francesca's book spot where she normally films. Um, so we just went to the Book Lovers Con in New Orleans and today I am doing a book haul of all the things that we got whilst we were there. So prepare yourselves for a lot of books. There's also going to, we're also giving away three giveaway packs from the books that we received there. Most of them are signed, so you will have a chance to get a book bag with many signed books in it. The, for the details of the books that we're giving away will be in the show notes below, so please check those. So let's begin to see all the goodies we got whilst we were away. Okay, so we got The Honeymooners by Christina Lauren. So I haven't read this. Um, but it does sound really good, so it's like an enemies to lovers book. So the main character, Oliver, Olive, not Oliver, is at her twin sister's wedding. She's normally a twin who has all the calamities happen to her, but something really bad happens at the wedding and she gets an opportunity to take the honeymoon with the man who happens to be her arch nemesis. And I'm guessing they go on the honeymoon and romance ensues. So. This is such a beautiful cover as well. Okay, and so next we have The Kingmaker Chronicles by Amanda Boucher. I'm sticking with Boucher, but it might be Bouchette. So I got all three, I got the whole trilogy, and I was so excited to be able to meet her. She signed these for me. Um, so it's a fantasy romance series which has elements of, it's completely fantasy in like a different world, but it has Greek god elements into it. It's now a completed trilogy um, so I was really excited to get all three. Um, yeah so if you haven't read this and you really want a fantasy romance I highly recommend giving these a go. And then I actually won this book um, whilst we're in an author talk um, so it is Jill Shelvis and Second Chance Summer. It sounds really good, so it's about a woman coming back to the small town that she left because it holds a lot of memories of her sister who died. Um, before she left, she had a bit of a forbidden kiss with the man who her sister, her now dead sister loved, so she's got the guilt from that. So she has to go back into town um, and obviously ends up meeting um, the man that she kissed who is, her, I guess, her sister's. I don't know, ex-husband, ex-fiance, ex-boyfriend, um, but yeah, so this sounds really good. I've never actually read any Jill Shelvis. It has a very kind of women's fiction type cover, but it does, when you read the blurb, it does sound more like a contemporary romance. So I think it sounds like it's kind of like a sweet summery romance, so definitely something um, I can look forward to reading. So I was really excited because Tessa Dare was at the signing and she was so lovely. Um, and I got these three. So I got The Duchess Deal, The Governess Game. Uh, both of what these I've actually already read and I have on my Kindle, but it's really nice to have like the signed copies of these. They're part of the same series. So one has so i think it's the duchess deal is where there's a dressmaker who makes a deal with a duke who very quickly needs a wife and it's um they kind of get married earlier on in the book and it's about them coming together as a couple and i really enjoyed that um and then the governess game the heroine becomes a governess although she is actually i think she's like a clockmaker or she cleans she's something to do with clocks and mechanics but She's lost her livelihood and she ends up becoming a governess for these really two unruly children and their guardian, he's not their father, I think he's their uncle, um, but something's happened and he's now the guardian of these children who he loves but he doesn't really know how to be a parent to them, towards them. So this book was really, really good. They were both really good so I'm excited to have these on, on my shelf. And then um, she also had like this novella like it's really tiny, what's it called? The, scan the Scandalous Dissolute No Good Mr. Right. Um, I haven't read this, I don't think I checked on Goodreads because I feel like I've read everything by Tessa Dare, but I haven't read this, so I'm really excited to, to get started on it. It'll be a quick read, but as is Tessa Dare, I'm sure it'll be fabulous. So we also received Aisha at last. Um, I think this is out in June, um, 
and it's marketed as a modern day uh, Muslim Pride and Prejudice which is a really interesting concept. It does sound really good and look at the beautiful cover of this. So one of the books we were really really excited to get was this but Nalini Singh's A Madness of Sunshine which is due out in December 2019. So we are huge fans of Nalini Singh. At Currently I am actually reading Wolf, Wolf Rain by Nalini Singh, which is the third in her Sai Trinity series. Um, but this is a brand new venture for her. It is a thriller set in, well, a thriller mystery set in New Zealand. I really cannot wait to start. She's done, she's, her Guild Hunter series is urban fantasy. Um, she's got her side changeling, which is paranormal. And then she's got a contemporary romance series. So I'm really interested to see her break into yet another genre. Um, no doubt it will be amazing. So I am really excited about this. And the cover is so beautiful as well. Like I really love the yellows in it and yeah. So I'm excited about this. It was probably one of the books I was most excited about receiving uh, whilst we were in the Book Lovers Con. So next up we have Sir Kristen Ashley. So we've got quite a few books from Kristen Ashley. Uh, I am a fan. I did do a video recently about Kristen Ashley if you want to check that out. It's mainly for beginners so kind of going through some of her books which I think will be good for beginners and some which you should definitely not start with. Um, but so these ones are for me, so I've got The Hookup and The Slow Burn. The Hookup I've already read and enjoyed. Um, I haven't actually read The Slow Burn yet, so I'm looking forward to start starting this soon. Um, yeah, I, I really like Kristen Ashley. I really like her style, like her really alpha heroes and her heroines are always a bit older. Um, so I do love that and I'm excited to have these on my shelf because they're such cute covers. Um, and then to start reading The Slow Burn. We also received this one. So this, the Deep Ender is from her Honey series, which is her erotic romance series. Um, so we received this one as well from Kristen Ashley. And then these are from one of my favorite series by um, Kristen Ashley, um, and it is Jagged and Kaleidoscope. So there you go. I've read both of these and they're both really, really good. So it was exciting to see these in paperback form. So we also got this book. So The Darkest Star by Jennifer Armand Trout. Um, it's set in the aftermath of the war with Humanity's War with the Luxon. Um, so our, he our heroine, sorry, Evie, her father died in that war. Um, and she meets someone who she assumes is Lux. Uh, but turns out to be something much, much more dangerous than that. Um, it sounds really interesting. I've actually never read any um, Jennifer Armand Trout, uh, but although I don't often get along with young, young adult books, but this one does sound really, really interesting. So I'll be interested in giving this book a go. And um, so yeah. Then we have First Grave on the, on the right. I always call it First Grave on the left. I like, I get confused, but it's the first book in the Charlie Davidson series by Dorinda Jones. Um, it was lovely to meet her. Um, so this is the first book and it's about Charlie Davidson who is a investigator and also happens to be a Grim Reaper. It's like a comedy, I guess, urban fantasy series and I know that it is one of Angela's favourite series. So yeah, we've got first book on the right, not first book on the left. It was also really exciting at uh, Book, Lover, Book Lovers Con because Karen Marie Monning was there. Um, we actually went to an author, author panel with her, um, Christine Feehan and Charlene Harris. It was so good. Um, we did put it on Instagram as, as a live video. We did have some technical issues because we were going to save it and put it on YouTube so everyone could watch it, but we uh, accidentally lost it but it was a really great panel all three of them were they were like so personable so smart so funny um it was it was a great it was a great panel with people who are really experienced in the craft and who's been in the publishing world for a while um so we grabbed dark fever which is the first in the very very first in the fever series by karen marie monning um so that was really great to get that from her um it's an urban fantasy series um mostly set in ireland and it involves the fae it's one of annie's absolutely 
favourite series in the world. Um, and yeah, it was really great to kind of meet her and see her talk. Um, she did say that she was kind of working on something completely different and completely new. So we will be looking forward to seeing what comes out from her next. So we received Unchained by Helen Hard. Um, I haven't actually read this, but I am going to read it. It's a paranormal romance, like a vampire paranormal romance. Um, and I am always looking for another paranormal romance series to get into. Um, so I'm going to give this one a try and see how it is. If you've read this series or this book, please let me know what you thought in the comments below. We also met Avery Flynn. Um, she was so funny and cute. Um, I really, really enjoyed meeting her. Um, I can see now that I've met her, I can see her personality coming out in her books, which is definitely a good thing. So I picked up Tomboy, which is mm, book three, I want to say, in her Hartigan series. I haven't read it yet. Um, I'm a bit behind. Um, I've read the first two books and I really, really enjoyed the first book, Butterface. Um, and I, I liked the second book, um, Muffin Top, as well. So I am really excited to start on Tomboy. They're kind of they're kind of romantic comedies, which are set, and all the heroes are like from the same family. Um, so yeah, it's it's a really great kind of contemporary family romance based on like the brothers all finding their HEA. So I'm really looking forward to reading Tomboy. So we also got to meet Tracy Garvis Graves, and we got On the Island. Um, so it's about um, two people who get stranded on a desert island and have to survive for a few years. The two people who are stranded are a 30 year old um, lady who is the other survivor's tutor and he is 16 and he's a cancer survivor. So they have to survive on the island together for a few years and, the and then there's a romance which like blossoms from that. Um, when I first read the blurb, I was a bit like, oh my god, oh my god, this cannot possibly work. But I spoke to Francesca who's read it and she assures me that it will not make me really, really angry and I should give it a go. So I am going to give On the Beach a try, because on the island, sorry, not on the beach. So we also received Fame Adjacent, Fame Adjacent by... Sarah Skilton, oh I can't talk today. Um, so it's about a former child star who was part of a TV programme when she was younger, but she is the only cast member who didn't become really, really famous. Um, so this is 25 years later after the show has finished and she finds out they're doing a reunion, only she has not been invited. So she is going to basically gate crash it, but the only person who can get her there in time um, it doesn't quite agree with her plan and I think there must be like a romance that blossoms from there. So that sounds like quite an interesting an interesting concept. It's a bit, I think, feel like it reads a bit like a women's fiction from the blurb, but I think there might be a romance element in there. So we also got Night Chaser by Amanda Boucher. Um, so this is the first book in her sci-fi romance series. Um, I liked this, but not as much as I enjoyed her fantasy romance series, but it was a kind of, I thought it was a solid start of, of, of a really good story, and I liked a lot of the characters in there, but I thought it was a bit, it was a good start, but it was a slow start to this series, but I am looking forward to reading the second book, which is out this year. So another book that I was really excited about receiving was The Faker by Sarah Smith. Um, this comes out in October um, and it's one that I really, really want to read. I haven't read it yet, but I will be soon. So our heroine works in a powerful company where it's really, really male dominated and she has to be really, really tough, even though that's perhaps not her natural, she's quite easygoing um, naturally rather than like the tough persona that she puts has to put up. Um, for work. However, what she doesn't have to fake is her dislike for her fellow employee. So I am looking forward to seeing how that develops. Um, so, and the cover's really cute as well. We also got The Trouble with Twelfth Grave, which is by Dorinda Jones. Um, 
it's a 12th book in the Charlie Davidson series so I don't recommend reading this before you read the other 11 books. It is a series that needs to be read in order um, as most urban fantasy series are but we were excited to get this. Again it's one of Angela's favourite series um, so yeah. So, Bringing Down the Duke by Evie Dunmore. I am really excited to start reading this. So it's a historical romance um, where our heroine is um, the first female, one of the first female students in Oxford University and she needs to get some support um, for the suffrage movement so she goes to the very, a very cold duke to ask for his help um, but he counters with a different offer. So I am looking forward to reading this to see what that offer is. Um, and I also love the cover though, if we've gone really different for this, for this, you don't often see historical romances with this kind of, I guess, illustrated type colour cover, but it is really, really eye-catching and I've, I'm really like enjoying the concept of this book. So normally if with historical romances, it's lords and ladies, um, but this feels like it's got like a little bit of a different twist on that. So I'm really looking forward to reading this book. So we received Hal and High Water by Charlie Cachet. It's an LGBT paranormal romance. Um, this has been on my TBR and I was going to read it um, as part of my Romance or Plea Challenge but I just ended up not reading it. I think I picked up something else instead. Um, it's really interesting. It's kind of like, it's LGBT obviously because it's a male male, male, male romance. Um, it's got a paranormal element and it's also got like a romantic suspense element. So I feel like there are a lot of genres like crammed into this. Um, so yeah, um, Helen Highwater is the first book in the third series and well worth giving a try. I also picked up See Me by M. Jane. Um, this, like I said, I'm always on the lookout for a paranormal romance, so um, this one is looks interesting. It's about a shifter pack, um, so I'm going to give this one a go. So, Hidden by Rebecca Zanetti. This sounds like a romantic thriller. So, there's a uh, Pippa, our heroine, is on the run, so she has to spend all of her time inside, apart from when she's looking out the window at her sexy neighbour. Um, so this looks to be interesting. I know that um, Angela is a big fan of Rebecca Zanetti, so this is bound to be a really good read. So Turn of the Key by Ruth Ware. I'm excited to read this. It's like a thriller mystery. So a woman answers an ad to be a nanny um, and it's set in the beautiful Scottish Highlands. Everything, look, the family looks picture perfect. The house is picture perfect. However, it ends up with one of the children dead and her on trial for his murder. So intriguing already. I cannot wait to read this. Um, it's out in... August um, but I'm gonna read this really soon because I do love a mystery. So we got Once and Always by Elizabeth Hoyt. Um, for this she was writing as Julia Harper um, and it is a contemporary romance. It's a, a kind of Snowden romance between um, a small town cop and a Russian mobster's daughter. Um, I love Elizabeth Hoy. Obviously, it's her historical romances that I like know her for, but I'm willing to try anything that she writes. So this one looks like an interesting read. I also picked up The Raven Prince by Elizabeth Hoy, which is my all-time favourite book by her. I really, really love this book. Um, so it has a kind of plain Jane um, heroine who is. I guess from the lower classes and she becomes our hero secretary um, and our hero is kind of like an ugly hero which sounds harsh but he's not your typical um, like really handsome like Earl or Duke. Um, he's got, he's a bit pockmarked, um, he's not like, he's kind of plain um, but the romance between them two together is so good and it's really sexy as well I really the Raven Prince is one of my all-time favorite like historical romances in general but it is definitely my favorite Elizabeth Hoyt's um, book in fact the whole series is really good um, it's called the Prince's Trilogy um, and I highly recommend you give it a try so we also received Kingdom of Exiles by Maxim Maxim Martino um, it looks like an 
it's like a fantasy romance and it's based on like magical beasts um it sounds really different um i believe francesca is reading this at the moment so i'm waiting to see what she thinks about it but um I am looking forward to giving this a try. I feel like fantasy romance has really come into its own recently and I'm really hoping that this turns out to be an excellent book because I really like the concept. And speaking about fantasy romances, I picked up Lord of the Fading Lands, which I have already read and I really, really like the series. Um, like I said, it's a fantasy romance um, between a normal woman um, and a fey lord. Um, so they have like a fated mates theme so he basically goes to the human city and senses that she's about and then it starts this massive whirlwind um so the first few books are kind of more about the romance and then you get to the development of the world and like the conflicts that are going on at the time um but it is fantastic it's a really really great series and i was really pleased to be able to meet the author and get the signed copy of the first book so next up we've got The Whole Package by Marie Hart, um, which sounds really cute. So um, somebody started up a moving company which hires only veterans um, and they get caught up in a media storm when one of when the boss's brother, who he, he started this company so that his brother, who was a veteran, could start getting into civilian life. It catches in on him on camera, kind of stopping a crime and apprehending a, a criminal. Um, so their business blows up um, and then there is a PR consultant who sees that and she sees it as her opportunity um, to go big. Um, but obviously she meets the very sexy owner of the business and one of her rules is not to mix business with pleasure but obviously I think that she does that anyway. But no, it sounds like a really cute romance. So I picked Believe in Me by Ella Quinn. I have never read Ella Quinn and I realise this is actually, I think it's book six in whatever series this is, but I really, really liked the sound of the book. So our heroine doesn't really want to get married. She's interested in um, geography, um, languages, she wants to travel and she doesn't want to be trapped in her marriage. And then she meets a very, a very well-travelled um, Lord Phineas Carter Wood um, and he is massively intrigued by her he loves that she loves travel and maps and geography um, and then the romance takes off from there so I thought this sounded really cute I do love it when uh, historical romance heroines um, like really want to get educated um, and they have different interests so this sounds like a really good read so we also got the Wedding Date and The Proposal by Jasmine Gilroy. Um, so The Wedding Date is like a fake boyfriend-girlfriend scenario. Um, and The, the Proposal, um, the heroine very publicly says no to a proposal um, and she gets whisked away um, when it all starts blowing up um, by Carlos, our hero. Um, and then they start on like a rebound fling, which from the sounds of it turns into slightly more. So yeah, these are really popular and they're really great. So we're really excited to have these. So one of the authors I was most excited about meeting from the Book Lovers Con was Maria Vale. Um, and I managed to get all three of her books in the Legend of All Wolves series. So I was so excited. Um, so got the Last Wolf, which is book one, A Wolf Apart, which is book two, and Forever Wolf, which is the final book in the series, and one of my favourite books this year. I think at the end of the year you will be seeing Forever Wolf on a lot of my best ofs. Um, so I was really excited to meet her, and I proper fangirled, so yeah. But no, this is a great series. If you won, if you enjoyed the other series by Anne Bishop, but you wanted more romance, this is a series that you need to read. Okay, and we received The Red Ledger by Meredith Wild. Um, so this sounds really interesting. Um, so it's an assassin who doesn't know his past and then he goes for one of his targets, but hesitates because she calls out, she recognizes him and says a name which makes him hesitate. So this sounds like quite a dark, I don't want to say romantic suspense, but maybe a dark, thriller romance maybe but it's a really interesting concept. We have Give Me Some Sugar by Molly Harper. 
So this sounds really cute. So um, we have a widow um, and she'd never realized that one of her best friends has always been in love with her. Um, so after her husband's died and she's got to face some hard truths, hard, hard reality about like what her marriage was. So he was a serial cheater. Um, but then there's Duffy, her friend who has always been there and has always loved her, but never plucked up the courage to actually tell her. So hopefully it's a bit of a second chance for them to get together. So that's Give Me Some Sugar by Molly Harper. So we have Bad Bachelor by Stephanie London. And don't you think the guy on the cover looks a bit like Tom Hardy? Like maybe a younger Tom Hardy? Um, anyway, back to the book. So Bad Bachelors is an app which rates all like the bad boy bachelors in New York City. Our hero is sick of it. He is a bad boy in New York City and he does not want to be on this app. Um, so he wants to clean up his reputation of course, so he hires someone to do that. Romance ensues. So next up we have Project Duchess by Sabrina Jeffries. It's about two characters who have both had difficult times and they have given up on ever finding love or even believing in love and then they find one another. So I think that sounds really cute. So next up we have Justified by Jay Crownover. So this is the first book in the series and it's an enemies to lovers um, trope in this. So we have a small town sheriff um, who has to protect his sworn enemy um, because she is the lawyer who was responsible for having his children taken away. Or so it seems um, there are things that he doesn't know and there are secrets that she's keeping which will soon be revealed. Um, yeah, this sounds like a, re a really great book. I know Francesca read the novella, which is before this, and really enjoyed it. So looking forward to giving this contemporary romance a try. So thank you very much for watching. Those are the books that we received uh, whilst on the in the Book Lovers Con. It was a really, really great event. We enjoyed ourselves. Um, we saw so many authors that um, we love and we got some great books. Um, as I said at the beginning of the video, we are doing three prize packs which will have a combination of some of the books that I've been talking about here and some other bits and pieces for you for the full list of what is in each bag. Please see the notes below which will also tell you how you can enter. Um, let me know what you thought of the books that I've talked about, uh, spoken about. Did you go to the Book Lovers Con? What did you think? What books were your favourites? Thank you very much for listening. Don't forget to subscribe and follow us on social media and I'll see you in the next video.